Hey, I'm Simon, co-founder of NoLoco, the no-code platform to build internal tools for your team without writing a single line of code. Today, we're going to imagine that we run an online furniture business, kind of like IKEA, and we want to build a back office tool for our support team. Here, our production data lies in a Postgres database that we've connected to NoLoco. One of our regular customers got in touch to ask us to update their billing address. So I'm going to turn on edit mode here and add a collection view to show our customer's data. I see I've added a basic table. And I'm going to just update some of the fields that get shown here to only show those that we need to see. That looks okay. And then I can add a filter field so that I can search for a customer by their name. So our support team can come in and search for a customer by their name such as Forest Leo Partners, for example. I'm going to click into the relevant customer record. And again here, I might want to tidy this up so that I only show certain fields that our support team needs to see. So I'm going to reorder these by simply dragging and dropping. And then I'm going to make this take up 50%. Perfect, that's a lot neater. Now that we have our record view ready, all we have to do is click the edit button update the billing address and click done. And that's updated straight away. I might also want to leave a comment for the rest of my team. Updated the billing address as requested via email. So now I've left a comment and the rest of my team can see that whenever they come in to see this record. So that was pretty trivial, but what if we want to kick things up a notch? Let's say our customer had a problem with one of their orders. So what I could do is, from this record page, add a list of orders related to that customer. And of course, I'd want to filter this related record collection to only show the orders that are related with this particular customer. Again, I might want to change what fields get shown here and then reorder the fields to make it make, to make sure it makes more sense for our use case. So that looks pretty nice. It's definitely useful having the related record collection of orders here, but really maybe I should add a page to our app as well so that we can look at orders without having to click into a particular customer. So as before, I'm going to update some of the fields that get shown here. So first I want to show the order number, then the name of the order, then the status of the order. And that's pretty good now. I also might want to update the display to make it a full width table instead. I'm going to turn off another field there. And I want to add a filter field so that I can search for a particular order. So I know that the problematic order that our customer was asking about was order number 416 here. Right now, it's actually kind of hard to see exactly what the problem might be without looking at the related line items associated with this particular order. So again, I'm going to add a related record collection here order line items. And again, I want to filter these line items so that we only see those associated with this particular order. Again, I'm going to change some of the fields that are shown here. So I want to know the name of the line item, the quantity, the price per unit, and the total cost as well. And here I'm using the rows display, but maybe it'd look a little bit better and easier to understand if I use a table, much better. Now we can see the problem. They accidentally ordered twice as many bookshelves as they wanted. And if I look up, I can see the order status here and see that the order has yet to be invoiced, which means it's okay for us to make changes. So what I really want to do is delete the duplicate line item here. And to do this, I'm going to add a record action button. So we're gonna to go to buttons here and add a new record action button. I'm gonna add my button text here, delete line item. And I'm gonna make this a one click action button. And the action here should be to delete a record. And I want to delete the relevant order line item. We might want to add some visibility rules to control when one of our team members can come in and delete an order line item. In particular, we might want to set a visibility rule so that the line item can only be deleted if the relevant order has yet to be invoiced. So I'm gonna set this up here by saying that the status of the relevant order is equal to received i.e. the first step here. If I toggle off edit mode, I can see that 
in hover state on any of these particular line items, I have the option to delete the line item. And if I click this now, the line item has been deleted and the total cost gets reflected to show the new total cost after the line item. Now we've got a system set up so that our support team can come in and remove incorrect order line items as long as the order is in the received state. Finally, let's say I want to enable our sales team to add new products to our database. This is actually really easy. If we go back to our products page, we can see the new product button over here. So when you add a collection view, Noloco automatically creates a form for you to add new records to that collection. And like any other screen, you can toggle on what fields get shown and customize the formatting as well. So here I'm gonna quickly add a new product with a description an image and I'm going to choose this nice light here. I'm going to say it's of type lighting, materials, brass, size 30 by 60, the unit cost let's say $50, choose the relevant vendor and choose the relevant designer. And voila! You can see that the new product has been successfully created and we're at the record page now for that new product. Obviously this is a new product, so no units have been sold yet, and there are no related orders just yet. So that's a quick tour of how you can build a back office tool with NoLoco from your external database like Postgres. You can also set up granular user roles, permissions to control which team members can access and edit what data, and add workflows as well. If you're interested in building an internal tool for your team without writing a single line of code, visit noloco.io and get started for free.